forget all the crazy things that made us feel so part of it our youth so confident we played our heartstrings not caring if it ends so we're going to the aquarium Craig. do you have a specific fish you would really like to see me you know that means yes right yep <laughs> okay so what's the fish uh, <laughs> all of them yep all of the fish try to learn to let go of all those things that tie you down get rid of it the voice inside that tells me that i'm scared yeah scared of shit but i want to let go of it now so someone tell me why so serious why are we so serious oh why so serious when did that are happening and I can't make sense of everything that's inside my head but I keep on thinking there's gotta be something said Garner is taking a photo of the placenta chamber. What? I'm talking to myself. Oh. That's normal. <laughs> Go live in the past. Don't wanna care about what is. Cause what if those things don't last? And I wanna
planning to film and eat at the same time, but why not have an impromptu mukbang, right? And I treated myself to a Domino's meal, as you can see. And then pizza! I ordered a thin crust with feta, spinach, green peppers, onions, and bacon. That is my jam. This is the best pizza on earth. I'm sure some Italian will be like, what are you talking about, crazy Canadian? But yes, this is my type of pizza. This is delicious. So first things first, I noticed that there is a mistake within my last Korea vlog type video. I said that we went to this palace on the first day and I truly thought we did, but we didn't. <laughs> we went to a different palace and I'm not sure which palace it is. And the only reason why I figured out that I had put the wrong palace in the last video is because I was looking through my pictures for the second day that you just watched and I saw this one. I am very clearly in the second day outfit holding, holding the thingy. So we went to this palace on the second day, not the first day. If you watched that first video and you know which palace that is from the first day, let me know. This pizza is so much better than those little like breadstick things. So yeah, the second day we braved the bus. Not a whole lot, we just went, took it and went over the bridge and then got off. There was another like transfer, like another bus we could have taken to get us closer to the Coex Aquarium. But again, we were not very brave and not used to taking the bus and we used uh, Kakao maps. So it's all in Korean, but you can still see the bus numbers and then you know you can follow the little dot that is you and find the correct bus station. That worked really well for us, but again, this was like our second day and we weren't very brave. As you can see from the video, it was quite a beautiful walk. The Coex Aquarium is actually quite difficult to find if you haven't been there before and you don't know where it is. It's inside a building and then you go down a level and then you get into like this kind of mall complex and then it's in there so we didn't realize it was in there and we kind of like walked around this building like looking at the little dot that was us on our phone and we're like how do we get there like and the building that it's like uh, above it looks quite nice so we went in through kind of a side door and there's like a security guard because this place looks nice and I'm like we're not meant to be here <laughs> and so I kind of just went up to him with the phone and the picture of the aquarium and I pointed at it and I was like Adi? <laughs> I don't know if he understood me but I was trying to say where like, he kind of just looked at it for a second looked at me and then responded in wonderful English like you could tell he wasn't very confident but he spoke perfect English oh the aquarium oh you go in these doors down the stairs to your left or something and it was like perfect and I'm like wow wow so the coax aquarium well it was really fun but if you're going to an aquarium to appreciate fish the coax aquarium is not really what you want to go to a lot of the exhibits seem to be targeted at kids there's a lot of knickknacks in all of the tanks and stuff and we found it quite odd and we also finished the aquarium really quickly. I would say an hour and a half tops and you can go through the entire aquarium. And we were even being slow because Gardner's like, take a video of this fish, take a video of this fish, get this fish. <laughs> so by the time we were done the aquarium, we still had the vast majority of the day left. So we're like, what, what are we gonna do? We decided to go to this temple I believe it's one of the bigger Buddhist temples within Seoul, or at least it's the more of the bigger touristy kind of temples. And it's like right across the street from the Coex Aquarium. So you can definitely do what we did and make a day out of it. So I didn't take a lot of videos within this temple, 
because when we got there, there was an English greeter. She was, like, there to take a survey. She was asking us, you know, like, how old we were, what country we were from, are we students, do we want to do a temple stay, like, questions like that. And while we were talking to her, she told us that there's no photography allowed inside. After the fact, I should have asked her what she meant, like, inside the gate to the temple area or inside the homes like the buildings within the temple grounds so because of that like slight bit of confusion we did take a few photos kind of like sneaky photos of there's a huge statue and we got a, a sneaky picture of that so even if we had been allowed to take photos and videos i wouldn't have if that makes sense you'll see in a future video when we're at the May 18th Memorial Cemetery uh, you're allowed to take photos there and there were a lot of Koreans like taking selfies and stuff there but I felt weird about that like I felt like that would be disrespectful for me to do so certain areas like that I just wouldn't take videos and photos of and then the last thing is we did end off our day at the palace this palace that is not the palace we went to in the first day. I don't know which palace we went to in the first day. <laughs> and then by that point we had been walking around for a long time. So after the palace we just headed back to Myeongdong. And I believe I passed out very early. Around 8 o'clock I'm like, I'm ready for bed. <laughs> so I do think on the second night I went to bed early and then Garner went across the street and then got more street food. I think that's what happened. Mm. 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 One more, one more. Okay, so that's everything we did on our second full day in Seoul. Oh my god. Okay. Have a good day. Okay. Have a good day. Have a good night. Bye.